the lattice stitch. Hi guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to Studio Knit. Nothing says cozy like cable stitches. This week's new lattice cable pattern, it reveals a diagonal interlock design with a simple eight row repeat. It's a fun project for experienced knitters as well as great practice for those new to cabling. And I want to show you what the wrong side of the work looks like. It really looks really pretty too, showing off this vertical wiggle pattern. I have the full written pattern on my website where I also have a PDF printable pattern where if you join my mailing list, you can go ahead and download that right now. It also is great to save this to Pinterest. So check out the link below for that. And if you think that this lattice cable knit stitch would be a fun one, please go ahead and hit like. It really helps me out. For our materials, I am using worsted weighted yarn. You can use any yarn or needle size. Mine here is size seven. You also will need a cable needle. You can use like a more traditional cable needle. I personally like using this double pointed needle and I painted it pink on either side as well as scissors and a tapestry needle. So let's get right into it. We begin by creating our beloved slip knot and we are going to be casting on in multiples of six. On, I'm using the long tail cast on method here and we cast on six stitches. And then we continue casting on in multiples of six until you have the desired number of stitches on your needle for the width of your project. It's totally up to you. We're going to begin with these two starter rows. So it's just really simple series of knits and purls. So the first starter row here, it is knitting four. And then after you knit those four stitches, go ahead and purl two stitches. And the second row, again, it's just knits and purls and it is going to be two stitches in the knit stitch, which is K2. And then we bring our yarn around to the front because we have four purl stitches. Now again, these are starter rows, so we are not going to be repeating these rows. We just get these rows going to get our cable started and then we are going to launch into our actual cable pattern that you repeat. Now here are how our starter rows look and it is time to do the cable pattern. I have this little cable needle here that I like to use. It's a double pointed needle. I painted it pink so you can differentiate it from my regular main knitting needles. And we're going to slip two to the back. So that's what SL2 is slipping two stitches and B means back. So we're holding it to the back. We're going to be doing this um, throughout the video, so you'll definitely get the hang of it if this is new to you. Having that cable needle in the back, we are knitting two stitches off our main knitting needle. And now it's time to pay that cable needle a little bit of attention. And we are going to then knit two stitches off of our cable needle. So we just go right on in there and it can be a little cumbersome holding um, three knitting needles if it's something you're not used to, especially if you're doing it on camera. Okay, and then this repeat, it's between the asterisks and so it is six stitches total. So you'll see that we're finishing up the repeat with purling two. And then you just continue this pattern of slipping it back all the way down the row until you finish it up. And here on row two, all of our even rows are going to be really simple knits and purls. And so here on row two, this is the wrong side and it is going to be those two knit stitches and then finishing up our series of six with purling four stitches. Okay, let's see how everything looks when we are done with row two. And already our cables are starting to take shape. So cute, they look like little ocean waves there on the bottom and we're going to continue. So here on row three, we're going to begin with purling two. Now you'll see the asterisk starts 
after the Perl 2. So that just means we do these Perl 2, and then the repeat begins between the asterisks. So now we're going to knit the two stitches between the asterisks to begin the repeat pattern of those six stitches that we repeat all the way down. So after knit two, you slip and you hold to the back, and we're going to knit two stitches off of our main needle. And then the cable needle on the back, we take that and we bring our yarn to the front because now we are going to actually purl off of that cable needle. So that's a little bit different than what we did on row one. Here we are purling off of the cable needle. And we continue between the asterisks those six stitches until we get to the very end. And then we finish it up with four knit stitches. Now row four, again, all the even rows are just really simple knits and purls. And so we have the purl four and we just sort of start with purl four and get that out of the way. And then we begin with our repeat of six stitches. And between the asterisks there, that is knitting two. So one and two. And then we bring our yarn around to the front because we have purling to do. We have purling four stitches. So that's one, two, three, and four. And we continue those six stitches all the way down the row until we get to the final two stitches here on our knitting needle. And we just finish it up right here with two knit stitches. And we're halfway done, guys. So let's see how that's looking. You can see that the cable, the little crisscross of the lattice is starting to show. So let's go right into row five. We begin with an asterisk, so we have the repeat starting immediately, and that is purling two stitches. Now this time it's slipping two to the front. SL2F is slipping two onto our cable needle and holding it in the front. So with our main needle, <laughs> holding that cable one in the front, we are going to be knitting off of our main needle and sort of balancing everything as we go. And after we complete those two stitches on the main needle, we are going to bring our cable needle over and we are going to knit two stitches off of this cable needle here, which I have in pink, so we know it's our cable needle. And we complete these six stitches, repeating them all the way down the row, getting some more cabling going on. And once we hit row six, again, it's that even row. It is simply knitting and purling. And so it's a repeat with purling four and then knitting two and doing that all the way down the row. Okay, let's see how it's shaping up. Our cables, our lattice are definitely taking shape. So let's go right into row seven. And we start out with knitting four. And again, that's just getting that out of the way, knitting four, and then we go into the six stitch repeat between the asterisks. So it's SL2F, that means we're slipping two to the front. Now we're going to be purling off of our main needle. <laughs> so just take your time if anything starts to get a little bit confusing or holding the three needles simultaneously is new to you. Just take your time with it and then bring your yarn around to the back because off of our cable needle, it is knitting two stitches off the cable needle. And we finish up our six stitch repeat by simply knitting two stitches. And we repeat this pattern between the asterisks until we get to the very end of our row. And then it's just finishing it up with purling two stitches. And now on our final row, row eight, we knit two and the repeat is going to be between the asterisks. It is simply purling four, knitting two, and doing that all the way down the row until we hit our final four stitches and we're going to purl four at the very end. 
and we just continue repeating these eight rows until your work is the length you desire and I hope you are inspired to knit up this lattice cable knit stitch pattern it definitely is a fun one it's a great one to sort of understand how all the cables work together bringing that cable needle to the front and back so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't I have all the links down below in the description I have more cable knit stitches as well to check out so I'll see you next time guys bye